before I start this video, I just want to say really, really quickly that I'm doing a $50 emblem giveaway. It's really easy to sign up. Click the link in the description. Super easy. Two buttons. Boom, boom, and you're good. Anyway, guys, thank you. Enjoy the guide. Peace. Yo, what is going on, everybody? Today, we have a quick guide on how to get the Lumina, a new exotic hand cannon in the game. Pretty simple. Go back to where you found the thorn is the first thing to do. You're going to go all the way to the salt mines, and you're going to head into the transmat. It's going to take you all the way out to the cliffs. You're going to go up the hill and you're gonna go to the spot where the thorn was however instead you're gonna move past that little spot of ash and you're gonna actually move over to the chest to the right of that now step two is pretty simple look at what the transmad that you got look at the description of it it will tell you an area to go and there is a chest associated with it now step three is pretty simple just generate 250 orbs of light my recommendation is go and do the whisper mission head under where the thrall are in the green room and just wreck thrall however on this character i actually didn't have that so i just did the lost sector on the top of mars step four is pretty easy as well 50k nightfall 100 multi kills without reloading but here's where it gets tricky the final one you need 35 points from either one of three activities escalation protocol blind well or forges so blind well tier three heroic will give you seven points but it takes a little while, so we found forges to be the best route as they give you four and they only take about three to four minutes. Now step five is pretty easy. Complete activities with the rose equipped with your teammates. It's pretty damn easy. We found that Lake of Shadows was pretty fast. It only gave you 12% though. A Nightfall gives you 20 and Menagerie gives you 35%. Step six, generate 50 orbs for teammates, get hand cannon kills in the crucible, and get the not on my watch medal. The not on my watch medal is pretty interesting because it doesn't list it in the description, but you have to kill an invader before he kills anybody else within 10 seconds. It doesn't specify 10 seconds for some reason on the quest, but just if it's not proccing, it has to be within 10 seconds. Part two of this is the hand cannon kills. You get 5% when you get a kill with the hand cannon, and you get 3% when you assisted a kill with the hand cannon and finally just generate orbs for teammates it has to be your orbs it cannot be the other orbs and you are on to the next step the final step is to shoot 11 crystals with the rose in the will of a thousand strike on mars it's pretty straightforward you just shoot the crystals there's way more than 11 of them in the strike they actually give you a harmony buff which is kind of cool and you beat the will of a thousand strike it doesn't have a specific area it literally is just the one the planetary strike that you can pull up at any time and just like that you have acquired the rose guys now i'm not going to go into any description on the details of it just know that this thing is similar to the thorn and that orbs drop you pick them up and they reload your weapon however this one makes it so when you hip fire teammates it gives them a 35 percent damage buff as well as heals them so it's really cool, it has aggressive tracking as well when you shoot those hip fire shots. It's a really fun weapon and just overall it's fun time. I am going to leave you a card and a link to Error who does very very good in-depth stat analysis on this kind of stuff. He made a really good guide on the Lumina and what it buffs with, what it doesn't buff with. I think you guys should go check that out. And we're at the end of the video so if you did enjoy this a like would be greatly appreciated as well as a subscription. Uh, thank you guys. I do stream on Twitch Monday through Friday currently. My schedule has been a little bit weird on Tuesdays for content days for videos like this one, but the rest of the schedule is perfectly fine. 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, 9 p.m. Eastern. Anyway, guys, thank you so much, and I will see you later.